Plenty salute to Oga Ben Adoniga for informing give us on top NLC matter. As Nigeria don't join the rest of the world to mark the International Day for Girl Peking, the Health for All Initiative have fired on call for more support for girls plus women, especially as it relates to their menstrual hygiene management. Hafai, inside partnership with Embassy for the Kingdom for Netherlands, has then been the launch one book on top menstrual hygiene management inside Abuja for adolescent young girls. Say many of them, they miss school, say they don't no get sanitary material to manage their periods properly. The group distributes free sanitary, eco-friendly, reusable plus cheap menstrual hygiene kits to school-age girls for the occasion. Then still they call on federal government to collect proper hygiene management for women plus girls as human rights issues so that they then go use this sabiness to boost girl-child education. Menstruation is a natural biologic process experienced by nearly all women of reproductive age. An average woman will have about 450 menstrual cycles in her lifetime. That is, she sees her period cumulatively for 38 years of her life. So if half of the world population are women, and every woman everywhere menstruates, why then are we not talking about periods? Why are we trivializing issues around periods? Why are we not speaking about it? Why do women lack sanitary products? Why do women lack sanitary infrastructures? Why do women lack information? Why are women isolated? The question I ask our society is why? Adolescent girls are the most vulnerable to the negative outcomes related to periods. Aside from the effect on their overall self-esteem and confidence, like you saw in the video clip, they suffer a lot of health implications when they use unhygienic substances like rags, newspapers, just anything they can lay their hands on to manage their period month after month. Imagine being a girl or a woman living in a condition whereby you, the only shelter you have is you know, made of cloth. Every, everything that you do, you are very sensitive to that and then you are exposed to a lot of harm from all quarters. You know, you are more um, exposed to violence, you are more exposed to um, being uncomfortable, access to even sanitary facilities is very, very limited. So um, in humanitarian setting, the gender-based violence is unimaginable. And we have people over, we have millions of people right now in Nigeria living in this condition. One of the best investments for your naira, or your dollar, or your euro, or your Australian dollar, for that matter. Uh, in development, one of your very best investments in development is to invest in the, in, in the education of girls. Countries lose out enormous amounts of money because they don't pay enough attention to getting girls into school. When a girl goes to school until the age of 18, she is much better prepared to take up her role in society. Girls with good education, generally earn twice as much for society than girls that haven't been completing their education. So that's, that's one major effect. Another effect is that girls that go to school until the age of 18 plan their families much more wisely. 